So, okay, yeah. going back to you, no, so. has there been another guy in the picture since? No. Hans Nothing? No. Okay. Gabby, what about you? Um, I'm single. What was the question? I'm single and Like, I, are you actually single? single? Oh, um, I go on dates, kind of. But? I just started going on dates. How many dates have you been on in the past fortnight? So that's 14 days. Uh, just one. Just one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. Wait, so okay, you said guys were messaging you saying, I want to take you on vacation. Well, these are people that I've met that I know. Like You've I've been I've been to events with them, around them a lot of times and they're, they're like, "Oh, like I Yeah. Wanna... Show of hands at the table here. Who has received a DM offer to either be flown out to Miami or Vegas or some other location? Is it like okay. you've never talked to this person a day in your life? Closer or? to the mic. Is this like you've never no, talked to... just in to... general. Just in general. And I'm married to him now. Oh, he... <laughs> wait. That's how you met your current husband. Have, yeah. have, have you guys ever been invited to fly out to Dubai? No. Not, Not yet. yet. Not yet. <laughs> it's in the works. <laughs> it's, it'll probably happen. All right. Happen all right. So, <laughs> so, so some like shake from Dubai hits you up oh, and he's Jesus. like, yo, girl, I'll pay you 300 grand to come out here and just do the nastiest most horrible things that should never even be spoken about haram. would you do it yeah. um haram. absolutely haram would you do it 300 grand oh uh, it depends on what he wanted me to do i guess but also i would fear getting kidnapped if i was yeah, all the way in dubai so i don't know if it's worth it for the trip but yeah. um i mean i have friends that have done it and they came back a little traumatized but yeah. a whole lot richer so <laughs> At least yeah. they came back alive, though, because yeah. you never If somebody's know, like, desperate, like, that's who they go for, you know? It's putting a dollar amount to your trauma. Mm -hmm. like, Wait, let's talk a little bit about your husband. So uh, he slid into your DMs. No. Oh. Um, so actually, I slid into his DMs. Oh. Um, my sister was streaming on Twitch at the time, and so was he. So they met each other through that. Um, your sister's a Twitch streamer? Uh, yeah, she is. Is she anyone, like, notable or? Uh, Not big, no. Smaller, okay. Yeah. Um... I mean, she's a great person, but she's not huge on Twitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Um, so they were playing together. He uh, playing video games, and he was an ambassador with Bodybuilding.com at the time. So I reached out to him for fitness and training. And like, you've got great vascularity, by the way. I'm just thanks. noticing the bicep vein. Congratulations! That's thanks. Fantastic. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, sorry to that's derail a great the compliment. No, like, sorry to I'm derail like, the conversation, but um, so. Yeah, so I slid into his DMs. It was like a New Year's resolution thing. I was like, hey, can you help me with a training program, like personal training, stuff like that. So I received the training program, and that was pretty much it. It was strictly just that. We actually did stop talking for a couple months, but I was still, you know, using my plan and mm -hmm. my program. And then we reconnected, and then at the time, I was living with my parents. I had just graduated college and really didn't have much tying me to Philadelphia. So he, that's kind of when we were like, all right, what is this here? But I guess flashback, I think it was like June. He was like, hey, I'm gonna be in Boise, Idaho for the bodybuilding fit or bodybuilding.com fitness expo. I wanna fly you out. That was the first time we met. So he flew me out. I stayed with them at the house. Bodybuilding.com had a house for the ambassadors. So I stayed with them. That was when we met for the first time. And then after that, he was flying, he had a lot more time freedom for his job, so he was flying out to Philadelphia at least once a month to come and see me. And then he flew me out to Vegas to do the Olympia Expo. So we worked at the Olympia Expo together with bodybuilding.com, and then right after that, I moved to California. Short how, soon after, how soon after meeting him did you know that you were interested in him and possibly wanted to marry him? Um, very soon, because we had... Like, the what are we talking here? Well, she, she DM, you DM'd him, right? I DM'd him, That's yeah. It was, it was for personal I mean, training. Oh. Yeah. So well, like, I, I, asked, I asked her about that before the show. I was like, okay. were you interested in him? She so was like, no, I, it was just I for personal I was attracted training. to him. The, the literal sentence I said to my sister was, what nerds are you playing video games with? And she showed me his Instagram, and I said, he's not a nerd. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, I mean, I was attracted to him, but... How soon I, after meeting him did you know that you wanted to marry him? I would say maybe... Oh, how when I wanted to marry him like where you were like yo I could spend the rest of my life with this person we stopped talking for a couple months so I would say maybe six months after hmm. six to eight months because that's when we started talking more but like the conversations that we were having were so in-depth and I was 21 at the time so he was like listen 
if you want to go out and you want to party and you still have this desire to be young, he's like, then this isn't going to work. But he's like, what do you want in life? And I knew I wanted a husband. I knew I wanted children. And I knew I wanted to build a family, grow a family and build my career. So that's kind of the conversations we were having from the jump. Sure. I do have to uh, move things along real, 